Definitely in Jaye game. Shekinah alongside Coil Dodge with Back to the Beach. Bringing us to 10 minutes after 8 a.m. You're listening to UJFM Breakfast on UJFM 95.4. And talking about this in Jaye game. Pop singer, R&B singer, fantastic musician, Shekinah Life on UJFM Breakfast. Mahofi. Ah, claps. Oh. Claps me ready. <laughs> What's up, Shekinah? Hi, how are you? I, I'm fantastic. Yourself? I'm great. I'm always great. Thank awesome. You. you know, I have to stress your name, you know, <laughs> Shekinah. Yes. Because I was telling you that I was listening to, you know, a certain radio show on a certain radio station. <laughs> And I had them saying Shekina. Yeah, that's a misconception. Yeah. And I thought I was the one who was wrong. You know? <laughs> no, you, you're good. That gave me a predicament. You know, every time I have to uh, announce your music or back announce your music, I'm thinking, am I saying it right? Is it Shekina? Is it Shekina? But it's Shekina. Shekina. Ne? Shekina is the name. Yes. You have been doing so well for yourself. Uh, thank you very much. We have been blazing a lot of music that features Shekinah. Ah, that makes me so happy. And now this has made us look forward to your album. Before we get into your <laughs> journey, when are we getting this album, Shekinah? Yes, yes. Okay, so the album the album should be... This is the first time I'm speaking about it. Um, oh, okay. An yeah. exclusive? <laughs> a little bit. A little okay, little bit. all right. Um, it should come out in August, um, later September, if mm -hmm. I'm just a little bit behind. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's almost done, guys. It's almost done. And I'll bring you guys the first single, like, next month. Okay. So, yeah. awesome. so we're on the road, guys. Like, yeah, it's going down. We'll, we'll definitely blaze it. And I mean... You have to. You don't have a choice. You know, I, 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 I can't remember the last time we were so excited about a pop and R&B I know. Singer. It's going to be it's gonna be crazy. I'm, you're sure. making me excited now. That you're I'm glad because we are excited. Yeah. We've been excited. All right, but now let's start with your journey. Uh, yes. Your real name, Shekinah Tandi. Oh, yeah. You know, I thought Chicano was actually a stage name. No, it's you not know? my first name. Uh -huh. um, I was born uh, on, in Durban, South Beach. Sure. Um, on Ad in Addington Beachfront, which everyone knows, like, that's, like, right by the beach. So it's literally just on the promenade. It's a hospital. Uh -huh. So I was born there, and then I was abandoned there um, um, on the day of my birth. I was born on the 2nd of October. Oh, okay. So I was left at the hospital, and then there was people that were looking for a baby, mm -hmm. and then they got to come and take me straight from the hospital, and which is not really the correct thing to do. You kind of have to fill in some paperwork. True, but true. But then they did that in the interim, but they took me straight from the hospital mm -hmm. home, and then I've been living with the Donnells. Oh, <laughs> I've yeah. been living with the Donnells since I was a baby. Since the hospital. Yeah, because I was going to ask you about the surname, like Donnell. You know, how did that come about? Mm -hmm. uh, so ever since then, have you tried to make contact maybe oh with your biological? Oh no, I haven't. You I haven't. haven't. I haven't. Oh, okay. I haven't. It's not possible. It's oh. almost like one of those like, oh, shame. Yeah. But so she 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 left the hospital. <laughs> Okay. So she came to the hospital, she gave birth, and then after giving birth, she ran away and she'd given fake details. So there was no one, oh, the police couldn't okay. chase anyone, yeah. Yeah. any family to me. Yeah. So, But I was lucky, I didn't get, I didn't go into foster or mm -hmm. um, to a home. Um, I was taken straight to my family. So that was pretty cool. Which was somewhat illegal. Yeah, somewhat illegal. <laughs> <laughs> somewhat illegal. Okay. You know, we live on the edge. So. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, you have a great story to tell. And I mean, having uh, grown up next to the beach, you know, that song now makes sense. Back to the beach. <laughs> yeah. You've been in Joburg for how long now? This is my fourth year in Joburg. Oh, yeah. okay. So you were missing the beach so much, yes. you were like, you know what, I oh want to go word, back Joburg to the beach. Was rough from then. <laughs> <laughs> so. you, know what I, you know what I mean? Joburg was uh -huh. harsh. And then I went home, and then I hooked up with the homies, and then we, I wrote the, I wrote the hook for that, you know, for that, the way I was feeling at the time. Oh, and I was I excited see, to see. be back home yeah. and be with people that I knew and I was familiar with. And things weren't, just weren't working out in Joburg, so at the time. Oh, so, okay, yeah. yeah. But now they're working on? Oh, very well, yeah. Okay, yeah. But no, no they could be better, always. And they will be better. Yeah. You know, the fact that you have been featured by the likes of Black Coffee, DJ Slag, oh, and no, so forth and so insane. on. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to blaze uh, some more gems uh, mm -hmm. where Shekinah is featured. But now I want to find out about 
you know, this Joburg Durban thing, you know, because usually when people come to Joburg, you know, they get flabbergasted, they get shocked by uh, how fast paced yeah. it is. So how, how did you manage to, have you adjusted? Yes, I have. Okay, I how did you manage that? Um, I think I came here, um, and it, it's the truth, uh, that's exactly what happens coming from the coast. You mm -hmm. come to Joburg and there's no coast, so people aren't, people aren't as relaxed. On a Sunday you find people are actually working, which, yeah, is, which is quite insane true. and not really what we're used to. So mm -hmm. for me, I got here the first year and I expected things to happen. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, I didn't get out much, I didn't do much. All I did was, I, I wrote music, but... I wasn't in the I wasn't in the public eye. I wasn't meeting the right people. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was lazy almost. I had like a really chilled back, you know. Okay. And then the next year, I mean, obviously at the end of that year, my parents were like, "Nope, zero percent income." Mm. You know, I was lazy, so they decided that I should find a college, find a university, mm -hmm. and make it happen, and then do music on the side. So I found After, and mm -hmm. then I went to After for the past three years, and I think in going to After. Um, I was pushed more. Um, I was I was put in, into a group of eight girls that also sang. So I was always encouraged to do more and okay. to be better. So I just kind of caught up. I mean, I really picked it up quick, I guess, the whole mm -hmm. staying up all night and working on music and yeah. typical job things. Yeah. And by the way, she kind of has completed her degree. That is uh, yeah, 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 a degree yeah, in music yeah, yeah, performance, yeah. right? Yes, it is. My whole <laughs> <laughs> I'll die for this clap. And this group of eight girls, were you part of a band? No. It's, oh, okay. They were the girls in my degree course. Oh, also eight all right. other musicians, yeah. Oh, but they're not doing as well as you are. No, they're all doing their own thing, man. The one girl's on, <laughs> on Oted Rhythm City. Oh. Everyone's doing their thing. So okay, yeah. we're a bunch of greats. So, yeah. All right, man. Shout out to Avda. You know, definitely producing some great talents. But do, do, do you feel that you had to study this degree, though? No, I just needed the discipline. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You know, because that's what I'm thinking, you know, just to get oh, your parents no, behind no, your back. No, no, You don't really need to do it. It, oh, it depends okay. on what type of person you are. I know a 16-year-old producer in Durban that, you know, if I, if I was 16, I would be chilling. Uh-huh. Not, you know, so the school helped me discipline. It also forced me to, like, write 10 songs for next week. Yeah. And, like, hand in this. And then that's how I started working with the industry. I started, you know, okay, mm -hmm. let's put a show together. Let's make sure the sets is dope. Yeah. One cover that everyone loved. You know, just help me mm -hmm. put things together. But okay. Didn't really need it. <laughs> Alright, you know what, I want us to go back to your journey, you know, but we'll do that yeah, after yeah, I yeah. play this song. You know, I want to know where, uh, you know, this whole music thing starts for you. And we also have to talk about Idols SA. A lot of us still can't believe that they booted you <laughs> out. That believe. doesn't make sense to us, you know. <laughs> she kind of is in studio. Any question you want me to ask on your behalf, do hit us up. Twitter, Facebook, yeah, yeah, UJF yeah, yeah. and Breakfast. And of course, hashtag UJF and Breakfast. Another song that's massive on UJFM that's massive in SA, Black Coffee, alongside Shekina. This one is called Your Eyes. Her gem of note, Black Coffee, teaming up with Shekina. This one is called Your Eyes. It is exactly 22 minutes after 8. You're listening to UJFM Breakfast on UJFM 95.4. And we are hanging out in studio with Shekina. We can already tell that she's an amazing person. She has an easygoing personality. And, you know, some people who haven't seen Shekina or seen any of her interviews might think that this is somebody who's like in her 40s or something. <laughs> you know, because of the soul that she exudes. You know, you have... An amazing soul and it comes across in your music yeah thank you is this something you worked on or does it have to do with life experiences oh i think it's life experiences mm -hmm. um i'm really like i'm i'm the type i'm really appreciative for my life because yeah. i mean i could have could have been an orphan i could have been treated. true true so i think that's always just like i feel like i see the the beauty a little bit more than other people like oh okay yeah but i know that's really deep but it's the truth so yeah that i think that always inspires me to write dope music and yeah. you know things that touch people's feelings you know mm -hmm. um because i can i can see that and people are my biggest inspiration you know yeah yeah and i can see how passionate you guys are with yes. what you do you know so sure i could go home and write something about that or like 
just fine. For real? I could, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, you're heading. No, I wish you guys could see at home. These yeah. two, like, they're really good at what they do. Like, <laughs> I can tell. I can just, I can really tell. Yeah. No, we, we appreciate it. Uh, mm. She's very humble as well. She's modest as well. But she did say something that kind of made the alarm go off in my head. <laughs> that she can write something about you, JFM Breakfast. And I mean, we're the most unconventional breakfast show. So maybe oh just my. before we say goodbye to Shekaina, oh uh, we'll put her on the spot. She'll yes. do something for you, Jeff, and breakfast. Definitely. Right? Oh, I like that. It'll All right. Be so whack, though. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you like five to ten minutes. Just we'll we'll, we'll play drunk. another song okay. from you. Oh, that's going to be that's okay. perfect. We'll, we'll, we'll do it just before we say goodbye to you. All right, Shekaina is in studio. Any question you want me to ask on your behalf? Uh, Tabitha Mapaisa is asking you about what inspires you. People. people. People? Yeah. People. Uh -huh. Love. Um, love. Yeah. People love life. Sure. Yeah. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Do you have a Valentine's? Yes, I do. Oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in my life. No, second time. Second, second time. time? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I do, guys. I'm guessing you've been focusing on your hustle. I've been focusing on my hustle, yeah. Yeah, and now it's going well. It's going very well. I mean, it could be better, but yeah. Yeah, I hope it's not with you because of the money that's coming. Oh my gosh. It was, <laughs> I remember being like, I wrote the song called Back to the Beach, and he was like, cool. Oh, is yeah, it? Yeah, he was like, yeah, okay, that's dope. That's okay, good, cool. that's good. Uh, yeah. So he's not in the industry? Mm, he, uh, he tries, he tries, he's working on it. He's working on is it. he a musician as well? He's everything, dude. I feel like everyone is everything these days, and I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, so he makes my clothes at the moment. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah, yeah. on my gram. He made my dress for the Met. Nice. He's made me like a Winnie the Pooh dress that I'm going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's cool, man. I wrote Let You Know About Him. Nice. Uh, yeah, Are we going to mention a name? Oh, no, you can see it. He's everywhere. He's all over my social media. His name is it. Oh, okay. I say his name is uh, B, let's check. Let's check out. <laughs> B, kind of B's on it. She's like. <laughs> Alright, hey, yo, Zgoloza, good morning. Uh, Zgoloza says, uh, Shekana's voice sounds as beautiful as her singing. Your eyes are still makes me very teary because of her vocals. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, man. So this is the soul I was talking about, hey? And by the way, Shekina is not an old person. Yes, I know <laughs> her soul comes across as though she's been through stuff, hey? Uh, can we mention your age? Or yeah, her? I'm 22. 22, can yeah. you believe wow. it? Hey? I feel old. No. No? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like, no. No, you look your age. You look your age. Yeah. That's the thing. But now with the music, where did it start for you? Um, for music, music really started in high school. Uh -huh. um, I'm lying. Music really started in primary school. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's something that I didn't realize was always in my life. Yeah. I really took it for granted, um, so I, like, I can't even remember when it began, but I did. I sang in my mom's church for every Thursday, every Sunday, um, mm -hmm. praise and worship um, for, for many moons. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, and then in grade, in grade 8, I didn't really care about music anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, in grade 9, I decided to join the choir, and when I joined the choir, I realized, okay, cool, I can actually do this. And then in grade 10, I did my first musical theater. And that's oh. when that's when everything was like, yeah, sure. that's when everything started, and that's when I realized, regardless of what I was gonna do, I was always gonna do music. Yeah. So yeah, I was doing musical theater in high school, and that mm -hmm. became like a super passion. And yeah, from there I did another musical theater piece, and it was really huge. It was a big deal in Durban, you know. Yeah. Everyone like Mini Lamini did it as well. Kayam Theater. And everyone did Rainbow Chicken Young Performance, so it was really cool. <laughs> It was a really cool uh -huh. thing. And then in grade 11, I did Idols. Um, oh, yes. We uh, have to talk about Idols SA. You actually participated in Idols SA twice. Twice. Season 7 and Season 8. Yes. Season 7, uh, you were booted out as part of the top 30. Yeah, top 30, yeah. And then you came back uh, mm -hmm. the following season and you made it to the top 6. Yes. Weren't you gutted though when they got rid of you? No, I was so tired by that time. I okay. Was, and I needed to write exams. Yeah. So I was going to repeat the year if I like stayed longer on yeah. television. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I was also missing my dad and stuff. So I went oh, home. Yeah. So yeah, I was good. I was happy. Yeah. I guess when I watch when you watch it on TV, your your emotions change a little bit. You're like, uh, okay. I deserve to be there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Because I remember one comment they had was about you being young. I'm like, what? But she's talented. Yeah, no, but I was young. Yeah, but you were talented. Yeah. And you're still talented. Yeah, I'm still talented. But, I've, like, I've changed so much from then. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. Okay. Yeah, that was Idols. Idols was amazing. It really helped me understand that this is something that I can do as a career. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just being in Joburg. That was the first time I was in Joburg. Yeah. And met Joburg people. So, yeah. And, I mean, so far, you're happy with how your career is going. Are you eating, Shikai? I am. I am eating. Um, okay. I also spend a lot of money. I spend a lot of money because I'm an independent artist, so oh, so yeah, there's a yeah, bit yeah, of a yeah. you know like mm -hmm. a win lose, but most of the time win. Oh okay, no that's good, and I mean even you know some of the collaborations that you've been involved in. I mean these are some big collaborations. I mean I I played a song with Black Coffee, so we 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 have to talk about that as well. Oh man, we are going to talk about that a bit <laughs> later on. Shekina is also going to participate in our classic gem coin toss for this morning. She is going to be the referee, and hopefully I number, win this number of number the day. of the day. Yeah man, it's that time of the morning where AB Ali has to go against Bulele Porisa. And this morning we have a special guest. Shekina is going to be our referee slash commentator. <laughs> we'll explain to you how this works. Ne? So I'm going to give you a coin. Uh, we call this the classic gem coin toss. Well, I'm not giving it to you. I'm like borrowing Oh, I'm going to give it back. <laughs> it's rough, eh, Shekina, you know. This is February. I'm I still know, worrying. still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can grab the coin. It's a five-brand coin. So we call it the classic jam coin toss. Okay. So what happens is, I choose a song, and then B chooses a song. Mm -hmm. And then whoever wins the toss, we play their song. Okay. Yeah? Does do that it. make sense? Makes so sense. we are going to do a best of three. So now the person who's listening has to hear you doing the coin toss. So you are going to face your microphone down, and then you are going to hit that coin against the table. But before you do that, we are going to do a best of three. Now, okay. before you do that, you have to imagine a boxing match. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm currently the reigning champion. No, I'm, I am. Excuse oh, me. Right. Oh, <laughs> BB is currently the reigning champion. Okay. So you have to introduce me as a challenger. Okay. You know, for example, you say coming to you on my right, the one, the only, the guy who's got a great goatee. <laughs> And then you'll say A, B, and then you'll hear an applause in the background. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. And then so, we'll play the songs just to give the person who's listening an, an idea of the song that I have chosen and the song that B has chosen. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. when, when, whenever away? you're ready, yes. Okay, so we have on my left, to be exact, the one, the only, the reigning Queen B. <laughs> Here to hold her title. <laughs> Here to slay the man with the goatee. His name is A. Bay. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Oh, okay, but hold me. That's the first time somebody has announced the contestants, if I may together at the same time. Oh no, I just had to do it quickly. <laughs> no, it's all good. I actually like that. All right, so if I win our coin toss this morning, this is what you are going to hear. Remember. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we can stop at B. And if B wins our coin toss this morning, <laughs> this is what you're going to hear. Yes. Wow. What a wow. What a week. A real classic. Okay, fine. You can stop it. Enough. 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 All right. Uh, so, best Let's of three, it. ne? Yeah. Who's who? Bing, 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 bing. I'll go with hits. Hits. Okay, then I'm tails. Okay. I don't know which is which, guys. I don't know. So like, okay, okay, so. Okay, sorry. This is tails. Tails. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. That's perfect. What is it? Heads. One. Heads. No. So that means... <laughs> okay, okay. There's, there's two more. Uh -huh. Tails. Tails. Okay, best Seven of three. Da, da, da. Come on now! Woo! Come on now! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> and we have a winner, Queen B. Okay. You. I, I feel like there was some cheating no involved. Cheating. No, 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 no. I'm so clumsy. I couldn't even if I tried. <laughs> By the way, Shekina didn't even know which one <laughs> is heads and which one is tails. Okay. But it gets a lot of people. <laughs> okay.
Okay, that's fine. Uh, so B is our winner for this morning. Yes. And this is her classic gem. Yeah. Pete Diddy, when he was still called Pop Diddy, remember those days, eh? Mm -hmm. I'll be missing you. We'll continue our chat with Shekinah in a bit. Everyone Go. This is for this morning. B won the coin toss, and this is his selection. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Alongside Faith Evans, Pop Diddy with I'll Be Missing You. And the reason why she kind of is giggling in the background is because there are accusations. I know, I'm looking cheating. at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's wild. If she doesn't know this one, she's too young for you, man. Taking you back to 1997. She kind of was only two years old, eh? Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're still hanging out in studio with Shekana. Any question that you want me to ask on your behalf, hashtag you Jeff and breakfast on Twitter. Uh, more underscore lunatics uh, tell Shekana. Everybody knows, almost doesn't count. Release um. the album. So more <sighs> is waiting for that album, Shekana. Yes. Get it, I got it, thank yeah. you. Yeah, and she gave us an exclusive, by the way. She mentioned that her album is coming out either in August or September. Yes. Yeah, you said, and you're releasing it independently? Uh, I'm releasing it independently, but I'm licensing it to a big label. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about collaborations, though. I yes, did mention collab. that we are going to talk about this a bit earlier on. Um, you have teamed up with some of the biggest artists in the industry. How did this happen? Yo, I've been so lucky. Uh -huh. um, so I think the first one was okay. So I met Carl through Idols, and then we did we did something in Sketchy Bongo. We yes. did Back to the Beach. So Back to the Beach did really well. Uh -huh. um, Back to the Beach did really well, and then me and Sketchy did another. We did something else together. Let you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then Let You Know got signed internationally to Sony. Mm. So um, our our song lives in the USA in New York. Wow! It does, cute. Eh? Congratulations! Um, thank on that, you. Eh? And from there, um, I think what happened was the people at Sony USA. Mm -hmm. um, spoke to Black Coffee and asked him if he knows me and then he said he does and what? Then, I know it's insane right it sounds unbelievable <laughs> okay it sounds unbelievable yeah and then yeah that's what well that's what Coffee told me that he they asked him to collaborate with me wow normally it's the other way around I people know, would ask dude. you if you know Black Coffee now you have people asking Black Coffee if he knows Shekinah come on <laughs> come on <laughs> <laughs> no man, no man. It's not like that. At all. It, it is like that. Yeah. Then while he was there, <laughs> I met with his manager, and then I was at the studio, and I played him a demo, and then he sent the video. He took a video of it. I didn't know he took a video of it. Okay. And then he sent it to Coffee, and then a week later, Coffee had like ripped the audio from the video and like <laughs> put his beats there behind <laughs> it, and <laughs> without and then, you knowing, without me knowing, and then I was like, that sounds really cool, and then um. He got back. He got back to South Africa, and he was yeah. here for about three hours, literally. And we, were, I went through. So uh -huh. every time that I've seen Black Coffee, he's always been on his way out. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah. He's really. He was really the nicest producer that I've ever worked with. Wow. Most level-headed. Um, sure. Uh, and he, he's. He, He's still experiencing. He's still at the beginning of an, a whole new career in his life, which is quite, you know, yeah. quite exciting to hear. And he, he's got stories, like he's got really, really cool stories. Like if I could sit here and recite at least two of them, you know, he's got really cool stories with Puff Daddy and like, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. he's cool. And I was lucky enough to do that. And he helped me, he helped me with the song because the chorus, um, actually the verse was actually the chorus of your eyes. So okay. The, yeah, yeah. So he helped me put everything. He just heard it a whole different way, and that's the way you hear it today on radio. It was, I had messed it up, you know. To you had honest. messed it all. I had some other loud screaming version, and he just calmed it down. So yeah. That's a great song, hey. Nah. By the way, uh, in your songs, you come across as somebody who is you know, very chilled, like you can't scream or anything. But having a chat with you this morning, I can tell that there's a bit of wretchedness there. Yeah, so ne? much. Yeah, no. So much. I, 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 I have a wretchedness radar. <laughs> I can sense these things. <laughs> That's the funniest thing ever. 
<laughs> All right, but you know, I also said we are going to talk about some of the challenges that you yes. have faced thus far. You know, uh, I always ask this question because, you know, consumers look at you and think, ah, you know what, things are going well Easy for peasy. you. You know what I'm saying? But there are always challenges, and that's why I always ask this question. You know, what have been some of the biggest challenges or challenge that you have faced in the industry thus far? Cool. Um, there's a million. <laughs> Yeah. There's a million challenges. Um, but one that sticks out. The one that sticks out is respect um, for female musicians. Ooh. It sounds. It just sounds like a, another girl whiling over the radio. Yeah. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. But we're not whiling. It's the truth. Um, we are underrated and under respect. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. a real word. But yeah, and it's like that's gonna stop. I mean, if most people saw my last instagram post it's it's real i'm like i'm done i've been a nice person to everyone mm -hmm. so now I, I i won't i won't i won't get disrespected i'll, I'll rather people acknowledge me for who i sure. am and you know what i've done so yeah that's how it is for females it's a bit of a respect issue mm -hmm. um and bit of the misconception that you that you're always up and coming you're always like mm -hmm. second to somebody mm -hmm. which is not true i, I don't believe that I, you know but anyway, so that's it. That's the challenges, yo. I'm not going to get too deep. Sure. But then how do you ensure that, though, that people respect you? You just put out good music. That's yeah. it, yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. That's literally all you can do. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Because, I mean, I've had stories about um, some females being blocked from doing certain things musically or even their music being playlisted as, as mm -hmm. well. Uh, some female musicians even mention how they've been asked to you know, do sexual favors for people. Oh, wow. You know? No, that, see, like, I'm lucky I'm not in that realm at all. I'm yeah. Not, like, I'm not in that world of, of even maybe anyone considering to do that. I, I think everyone just kind of understands that I'm not that girl. I don't know, yeah. You know that girl. I'm I like that. that. <laughs> You're all about the, the artistry. Oh, wow, yeah. The, the music business. Are you focusing on the business, though? I'm focusing so hard on the business. That's good. Yeah. Do you have a team that you're working with? I have a small team. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. uh, you know, I feel that most often than not, great artists, talented artists, they just focus on the music and they forget about the business. Yeah. And then they it's get screwed chat. over. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So I'm about to say goodbye to Shekinah. Goodbye. God bless. Uh, no, you're yeah. not done. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but earlier on, you promised that you're going to do something for us. Oh, wow. You know, something for you, Jeff, and breakfast. Hopefully, you can put in an A.B. Da Costa in there. Hey? A.B. Da Costa oh. is a long thing oh. to remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do two things. Let's do two things, you know, and then we'll officially wrap Say this goodbye. up. Ne? Uh, I just killed the background music because so, I want you to focus on Shekinah's voice. Ne? She did say yeah, that yeah. this might suck, but it's fine. We'll forgive her. I know, please forgive me, guys. Because she's doing this from the top of her head. It's a freestyle. <laughs> we'll call this freestyle singing. I don't even have a melody. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. So you Jeff and breakfast, you can put in an Amy Da Costa in there. Uh, Amy Da Costa. Oh, I'd faint. It's early in the morning and I'm at UJ, UJ. Breakfast, I'm with AV, yeah. AV and B, yeah. It's early in the morning and I'm dressed up for my breakfast with UJ, UJ, FM, I'm just up for breakfast with A, B, and B. They driving me crazy this morning. So early in the morning. That was really whack. Oh, I could have made it a little better. Wow. Like that. Wow. Uh, wow. I don't know it's if you crying. can see this. <laughs> I, 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 it's, Whoa. it's, it's actually sweat. It's actually sweat. Oh, really? Ah, uh, no, you know, sweat. Bl blacks don't blush, we shine. <laughs> so I'm shining right now. I'm glistening. You got to go fucking glistening or something. Wow. <laughs> I don't normally act like this. Hey? Okay, okay. I believe you. Wow. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, thank you, God. I'm, I'm, I'm taken now. No, no. Wow. Yay. Yo, uh, if the boyfriend is listening, I hope you treat her right. Babe. Or else. <laughs> I'm just saying, or else. I know. I'm so listening true. right now. I don't normally act like this, Shekina. <laughs> Come on now. Wow, normally I'd stand up and break things, but now I'm like, I, I've just gotten shy all oh, of a sudden. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thank Whoa, you. okay. Wow. See, I was going to ask you to sing a little bit of something from your upcoming album. Oh. 
but now after that, you know, oh. even, even though you might have said that sad, you know, to me it was like, look at me, like, I wow. know, it was really whack. Um, no, it was lazy, fantastic. No, now. stop that. It, That's we, how it is. We, we loved it. <laughs> it was we, beautiful. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, for somebody who might be thinking, yeah, but I'd like to hear a little bit of something maybe from her upcoming album. <laughs> it, it doesn't even have to be from your upcoming album. Here's somebody, they're going through a bad morning and they're thinking, you know what, mm, it'll be nice to hear something from Shekinah again. So it goes like this. It's really weird, but it's different in my own way. Rose gold, baby, I'm my own shade, baby, yeah. Living in a new age Guess I'm just a limited edition Not too many edits like me No, you cannot wine or dye me Guess I'm just a sucker for the Independent mama drama I'ma do whatever I can Need you to understand I'm nothing like what you had I'm nothing like what you had yeah. Wow hey. Wow. <laughs> wow, I'm finished with the claps. <laughs> <laughs> you are a great talent. Ah, thank you. You are very talented. You and very I mean, much. for you to be able to sing just like that, so early it's in so the morning. Whack. I was like, could have sounded like, you know? <laughs> it sounded great to us. Thank you. Wow, man. Okay, I, I, I can die now. I'm happy. Yay! I'm, I'm very happy. You see, I don't, I don't album, get guys. like this. I'm gonna so. come through and you guys have to. Yeah. You guys have to blast it for me. No, we'll blast oh, it for you. you. We'll promote it Please, for you. You don't man, even have to on, pay us. Man. We believe in your talent. Thank eh? you. Thank All you. right. Uh, so apart from the album, what can we expect from you? Yay. Yeah, um, me and Slick just shot a video for the past two days. Yes. I have a huge sore on my ankle from all the walking that I did. It's beautiful. Okay. And so, You're talking about uh, On It. Yes, right? On It. We By the way, we are closing off the show with that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We shot the video for On It. Um, it took us a while, um, but now the boys are on post. Um, mm -hmm. Shout out to our producer Media for shooting the video. Sure. And I'm pretty excited. I mean, I haven't had a video um, on for a while. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is On It, and it's off Slicks uh, in Jayam Volume 1. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so I'm very excited for the video. Okay. So that's what's coming up, and that's the last feature that I'll do before I release my first single. Thank you. It's about <laughs> damn time. We've yes. been waiting for that album. But you had it here first. She kind of mentioned Literally. that it's going to be released either in August or September. We are looking forward to it. If somebody wants to follow you on social media. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter um, at the same handle. It's mm -hmm. my name with the D, so Shekinah D. Um, and you can also hit me up on Gmail, like if you on need to. On Gmail? <laughs> wow, okay. Like, cool. How we we don't Gmail? normally get this, eh? I know. Cool. <laughs> Gmail, Shekinah D. Instagram, Shekinah D. Twitter, Shekinah D. Oh, Facebook. Yeah. It's all the same. Wow. Awesome. It was an absolute pleasure Yay, having you in you. studio. You're a great soul. Ah. I like the fact that you have such a bubbly personality. Yeah, thank And you. We, we look forward to great things from you. Yeah, it's going to be really cool, man. Make some changes. Oh, yeah. All right, we are out of here. Thank I, you. I, Bye. Mom. I, I need water, man. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm still shining. You're insane. <laughs> and a towel as well, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and this is how we wrap it up. DJ Slick. Yay. Alongside our guest this morning, Shekinah. This one is called On It. Thanks, God. <laughs>